Hello everyone, welcome once again on InstaGis TV. Today we'll be talking about latest strike updates in Nigeria as Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC and Trade Union Congress, TUC, finally suspends nationwide strike and they are giving their reasons too. The organized labor has suspended its nationwide indefinite strike which began on Tuesday, November 14, 2023. Stay tuned for more details. At the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, the leadership of the Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, and Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, TUC, have suspended the ongoing nationwide strike. Recorded on Tuesday, November 14th, Labour commenced an industrial action over the battering of the NLC president, Joey Ajairo, among other pending issues. However, on Wednesday night, November 15th, the strike was suspended following the federal government's intervention through the Office of the National Security Advisor, NSA. Remember that Nuhu Ribadu intervened in the nationwide action of the organized labor, disclosing that two suspects in connection with Ajero's attack had been arrested. From top sources at the labor house, Abuja, the leaders at their extraordinary National Executive Council, NEC, meeting resolved to take into consideration all the promises made by the NSA. In quote, we have just finished an extraordinary neck meeting. We have considered all the appeals made to us by NSA during our meeting in his office in the afternoon. We shall give him time to coordinate the investigation as promised, one of the labor leaders disclosed. The National Deputy Vice President of TUC, Tommy Etim, confirmed the development on Wednesday night in an interview. At Abuja. The, in quotes, the neck of the NLC and the TUC have suspended the strike. We did based on our trust for the National Security Advisor, Nuhu Ribadu, who gave us his word, he said. In addition, President Tinibu rejects NLC's nationwide strike. Meanwhile, the presidency faulted the recent decision of organized labor. The president criticized labor for embarking on a nationwide strike due to assault on Joey Ajaro, the NSC president. In a statement signed by Tinibu's aide, Bayo Onanuga, and shared on his ex speech on Monday evening, November 13th, the president described the decision of the NLC and TUC as clearly unwarranted. Also, record that Ajero was arrested by police in Owere, Imo State, at the NLC Secretariat on Wednesday, November 1st. After his release, he narrated what he went through during his arrest. He said he was beaten and God must have taken extra time to create him for him to survive. He further stated this with a bruised and swollen face in a viral video which was shared sometimes on X. Also, top political analyst in Nigeria has given reasons why the NLC needs to be seriously called to order. Adigunu Musi, a former head of the political science department at the Lagos State University of Education, last week, had said the Nigerian Labour Congress needs to be seriously called to order. Adigun, in an interview on Wednesday, November 15, 2023, accused the Nigerian Labour Congress of obvious partisan postures. Hmm. The university lecturer therefore asked the Labour Union to concentrate on promoting the welfare of Nigerian workers. He said, a look at the demands of the Nigerian Labour Congress is majorly about the brutality and physical assault on the Nigerian Labour Congress President, Mr. Joey Ajayo. Firstly, the assault is commendable and as such all the perpetrators must be brought to justice. Secondly, two wrongs do not make a right. The attack on him is wrong 
and the action of the Nigerian Labour Congress and its affiliates to declare and embark on a nationwide strike is collective punishment for Nigerians and the Nigerian nation. Thirdly, the Nigerian Labour Congress needs to be seriously called to order for it is seemingly obvious partisan postures. He continued, it's important the Nigerian Labour Congress fits squarely its main objective, which is the promotion of the welfare of Nigerian workers, as many Nigerian workers have been brutalized in the past without the Nigerian Labour Congress blinking an eye. Mm. That, that was his, his quote. And the, the quote also continued in the final verse where he said, In the final analysis, the government should do the needful by bringing to justice those involved in the brutality saga. We need to move on as a nation. Honestly, I, I, the, the strike has been suspended. And re recall before the strike, the Nigerian Labour Congress shut down the National Assembly complex, which is the lawmaking body in nigeria and it, it was something else but they left the presidential villa gates open for security personnel and other essential workers and but they, they shut shut it down because of the the, the battered their leader and it, it it wasn't funny it wasn't a good act but mm, they have their reasons and they have come to terms with next so the strike has been suspended and everybody will go back to status quo and we believe and hope that NEC will actually grant the Labour Union Congress and TUC Trade Union Congress their, their desires and their wishes so for peace to reign in the country. Okay, this is where I will draw the curtain on political news. Please do not forget this is Instagram TV. Like, subscribe and also share. Until then, bye-bye.